Kayla and I am here for you today with my 2015 beauty and fashion favorites. So um, I narrowed it down pretty far because um, there was a lot of things I loved in 2015 but I didn't want to show you all of them because that would be a very long video and you guys don't want to watch that. So um, I'm splitting this up into two different favorite videos. Um, this is my fashion, beauty, health, and just general taking care of this um, favorites. And then um, sometime next week I will put up a random favorites video. But um, I wanted to do this one first since this is first a beauty channel. Um, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys that. And yeah, so I'm going to jump right in. It's kind of a random mix and I'm not going to go in any particular order. Um, but yeah, these are just some of the things that I really loved, used a lot, wore a lot um, in 2015. So first one I don't have here, but it's my fashion favorite, and that is black on black on black. I wore a lot of black clothes this year um, for no particular reason other than all the pieces I liked ended up being black, and they looked really good together, um, and it's fun for me to add like splashes of color into things. Um, I also wore a lot of gray. I wore a lot of neutral colors. Um, I bought a ton of just basics from H&M this year, and that's what I wore most of the time, including this gray top, um, just because it's more fun to add fun pieces and do elaborate makeup for me um, than it is um, to wear like bright patterned things. So that was one of my favorites this year. Um, next thing that's sitting in front of me is scrunchies. There's not one in my hair right now, I'm using a real hair tie today, but usually I wear scrunchies. I have a strange obsession with them. I don't know. I you find them everywhere in my room. I like I was just cleaning out my room. I found like seven scrunchies because I'm obsessed with them, and I just bought this new pack of all black ones. Um, but for me, it's just really easy to like throw these, throw my hair up, and be done. So scrunchies. Um, next is something that I've been using for a couple years now. So you guys have seen this in many favorite videos. Um, but that is the Up and Up brand makeup remover cleansing towelettes. Um, these are my favorite makeup remover wipes ever. Um, I've kind of straight every once in a while trying to see if I can find something I like better, but there just isn't. There's n there are no makeup wipes that I like better than these. These are my ultimate favorites. Another thing that I've tried to stray away from, but then always come straight back to because there's nothing better than it for me, is my Aussie 3 Minute Miracle Moist Conditioner. Um, I don't use this as a leave-in treatment, um, like an extra treatment. I use this almost every day because my hair is so insane or not every day every time, I wa every time I wash my hair I use this almost every time um and it makes my hair super soft and manageable because this rat's nest is not manageable that often um next is the uh Sally Hansen Miracle Gel um polish and top coat kits this is like my favorite nail polish I've ever used ever I have like probably 10 different colors now. I keep sucking up with them. I just got my mom some for Christmas because um, I'm just like, you all need these. Um, so the colors and then the top coat. I'm not wearing any nail polish right now because I just like uh, cut my nails and like cleaned my hands up. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, these are my favorite nail polishes and I'll probably paint my nails in like five minutes after I film this. So yeah. Next up is a toothpaste. Really random, but I've gone through a lot of tubes of this this year, and it is the Colgate Optic White Platinum Express White Toothpaste. It is the best toothpaste I've ever used. I love it. Um, and for like a whitening toothpaste, it doesn't taste horrible. And because a lot of times with like good whitening toothpastes, I've noticed they taste terrible. This does not. So it's it's a keeper for me. Um, next is more the brand than the specific product, but also I love the specific product. And that is ColourPop. ColourPop killed 2015. Like, when I first bought my first stuff from ColourPop, they were eyeshadows, lippy pencils, and lippy sticks. That was all. That was the beginning of this year. Through the end of this year, they have come out with new liquid lipsticks. They've come out with blushes, bronzers, highlighters. They are going insane with new products, um, and they're becoming like a full-fleshed, Makeup brand, makeup brand, um, which is really cool, and they do a lot of fun collaborations with people, and I'm just really excited to see, like, how they keep rolling in 2016 because they are on an upward incline to like greatness, and their products are all amazing. I love them so much. But um, my ultimate favorite color of my lip be stick, lip be pencil, um, 
combo this year was LBB. I wore this in so many videos. You guys have seen this lipstick more than you've seen anything else on this channel because I am obsessed with this. I need to find a new favorite because like it's almost gone. And I don't even know if they have this one on the website anymore, which is going to make me really sad if they don't because this is one of my absolute favorite lipsticks ever. All right, next is a scent, um, which you can't get anymore again, though it is some annual sale, so maybe you can. I might need to go to Bath & Body Works. Anyway, this year Bath & Body Works did a cycle, two cycles of bringing back six um, old fragrances at a time, and one of my favorite fragrances from when I was a kid was Cherry Blossom, and it came back in the first cycle, and I bought so much of it, and I wore it for the entire first half of the year. Um, this is my shit. I love this so much. Um, it just like, I thought, oh, I'm not gonna like that. I liked that when I was like 10. Like, I'm not gonna like that anymore, and I'm 21 years old, like whatever. I'm so obsessed with it. It's beautiful and my favorite thing ever, so. Cherry Blossom is definitely a winner of 2015. Next up is um, my deodorant that I've been wearing. Really weird, I know. Um, but it is the Secret Clear Gel Scent Expressions in So Very Summer Berry. Um, I just was getting sick of using a normal stick deodorant, so I wanted to get a gel one, and this scent is really nice. And so this is like my you know, third tube of it this year. Fourth, I just, you know, I just have to switch things up. Um. Do I go to the stereotypical favorite? I think I have to. So, every girl on YouTube's favorite highlighter of the year. <sighs> Champagne pop. Ah, it's just, it's beautiful. I almost didn't buy it. Um, yeah. I really, I was like holding out and holding out. I was like, no, I don't need a new highlighter. I know it's beautiful, but I don't need a new highlighter. I can't do it. I can't do it. My friend Alyssa was harassing me. I was like, Kayla, it's going to sell out. You need to buy it. And I was like, no, I can't. I can't do it. I'm not going to do it. And then I did it, and I'm really glad I did. I would have kicked myself if I hadn't, um, even though they have it again now. Um, but I would have kicked myself if I hadn't bought this because it's so beautiful. I might buy it back up because I just love it that much. So, yeah, that is Champagne Pop. Um, next up, I'm going to go back to skincare for a minute. Or actually, I didn't have any skincare in this. I'm going to go to skincare for a minute. Um, and this is my favorite face mask that I got a sample of when I ordered Champagne Pop, actually. Um, so I was like, yeah, I like face masks, face mask samples. I'll just try one out because I don't really do face masks that often, but when I do, it's usually just like, I'll go buy a packet at, like, Target or something, or one of, like, the Sephora sheet masks. But I tried this sample, and I, the next day, went out and bought a full bottle of it. And it is the, uh, Origins Original Skin Retexturizing Mask with Rose Clay. Um, it's the best, so it's, like... It smells great, which is great. It's pink, which is fun, but it makes my skin so smooth and so nice. Um, and you put it on, and then when you take it off, you use it like it's a scrub. So you're getting both like a skin treatment and a scrub at the same time. Um, and I love this so much. On to more makeup stuff. Back to that. Um, my favorite foundation of this year um, was the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Foundation, actually, um, which I know a lot of people. Didn't like a lot, but I actually ended up really loving it. I got a sample once, um, and I ended up going out and buying the whole bottle because I really loved it. Um, my friend Alyssa was really mad that I wasn't the same shade as her because she hated hers. She's like, I'm just giving you mine, and I was like, well, I'm not as pale as you anymore. I used to be that pale. Um, but I'm in the shade Bare Linen 03, um, and I absolutely love this foundation. It gives me just enough coverage, but it doesn't feel like I'm wearing any makeup, which is my favorite thing in the world. Um, I have some lip products. Um, the first one is a very specific one, so I'll show you that one first. It is the Urban Decay um, Matte Revolution Lipsticks in Blackmail. Oh, you guys, it's just so pretty. You guys have seen me wear this a lot on Instagram. It's one of my favorite lipsticks ever. Um, I call it my almost black like my soul lipstick um, because it's just perfect. Uh, I just bought the lip liner for it too, and the lip liners are really light. Like, it doesn't look like it's going to go well with it, but I'm going to try it. Because, you know, you got to do it. But this is one of my favorite lipsticks. I love my dark vampy colors, so I had to buy it, and I do not regret it one bit. My next is both a brand, but also specifically this color, and it is the Jeffree Star um, Velour Liquid Lipsticks. And this one is Posh Spice, which I wore a lot this year. It's one of my favorites. Um, I also have Masochist, which I love a lot too. Um, but this is a really great formula, and I love it. Um, last favorite of the year, 
uh, well, beauty favorite, is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Favorites palette. Um, again, this is something I like, I bought the second time it came out because like, I was like, I don't need it. Like, I love Jaclyn and everything she puts out I want to go buy immediately, but I like tell myself, like, calm down, Kayla. You don't need to. I did. Um, so I got it eventually, and it's like my favorite palette ever. I've used almost every color. Um, haven't really touched like the orange corner as much as I would like to, so that's kind of my goal for 2016 is to play with that orange corner a little more. Um, but it's just like beautiful quality and perfect. And um, yeah, I just love it a lot. It's really nice and warm and beautiful, and it is my baby. I use it all the time. I had to like take a break from it for a while. Um, in the fall, because there was a period of time where I used this for like a month straight and nothing else on my eyes. Um, it was like this and ColourPop shadows were the only thing I was using, and I was like, okay, Kayla, step back. You have a lot of other makeup. But yeah, so that is my 2015 beauty favorites. Um, look out for the random favorites coming soon, and I hope you all have a great New Year's. Love you. Bye.